Hey, Shani. Hi, honey. Do we, I hear we have a green pie? Yes, we're oh. making a green pie. Asia just came this weekend. My buddy, she's in Brooklyn and she's a chef. And she said, I got to make this green pie that I invented. And I said, yes, let's do it. Yeah. So what we did is we went and we picked uh, a whole bunch of nettles. Now, Steve, wow. I want to show you what a nettle looks like. Okay. When it's in its raw form. Yep. Jerry, okay, come back over here. I'll show you. Ooh. Um, we picked a whole bunch of these and washed them off. And here's what a nettle looks like. Wow. You get a good look at it. And when you pick them in the springtime... Oh, you're not supposed to put your hand in no, there. No! Don't put your hand on there. Unless you want to be stung. Because some people do that on purpose. But I don't. Okay. So that's that's a fresh nettle. Nettles are high in vitamin C and iron. And uh, Irish ladies have been picking them for a really long time. Now... I used about five times as much of this volume, so it cooks down, like, I probably used... So five times as much as that, Yeah. what you see there. I used mostly nettles, and then one bunch of kale, and sauteed that in olive oil with chives and green onions, and a little bit of um, nutmeg, and Asia's secret is... The zest of a lemon and then lemon juice so the um, zest of one lemon and the juice of one lemon and you cook it down till it's nice and soft so to make this pie then you have to have all four elements make a crust this crust is made with one stick of butter a stick of butter and then one and one third a cup of flowers um, and not like flowers, but flour. Flour. Yeah. So this is buckwheat flour that I ground, and then this is um, a wheat berries that I ground, and I guess they also call this boulder wheat. And then, so one one third a cup total, about half a teaspoon of salt, a really big pinch of baking powder, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and about two to three tablespoons of water. You mix that all up, roll it out, make your pie crust, and then you want to have some eggs ready. This is three eggs with a little bit less than a cup of milk, but you could do it with a little bit of water, or you could do four eggs and a little less milk, or you know, milk substitute. And then some cheese, this is feta. Feta cheese? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Put the feta cheese into the pie crust. So there's a nice little base of cheese. I would prefer mm. to have about a cup of feta, but I only have like a half a cup. So I may grate a little bit of cheddar on, on top. Because the cheese adds a lot of the flavor. Okay. So there's the feta. You want each bite, you can taste a little bit of the feta mm. cheese. Woo! Okay, you squeeze it out. And then that looks pretty good. All right, and now I'm going to put these greens on top. And they're nicely flavored already, right? With the, um, the chives and the, the green onions and the olive oil. And, if you want, you could put some more garlic in that. The lemon is great because it has it gives it a nice bite. And then remember the dash of nutmeg, which I thought was such a good thing. Okay, and then here's the egg mixture. I'm just gonna pour that over it. The egg mixture was again. It, it's milk oh. and four eggs. Yeah, it's. Um, I only used three, but mm -hmm. four would be good. I only had three eggs, but if okay. I had, there's mustard in here too. Mm. About a teaspoon and a half of mustard, some garlic powder. And this is mustard you made. Oh, we, I didn't oh. use the mustard I made because we're almost out of it. Oh, okay. And I, I wanted to serve it with. But yes, so you, I made some mustard. 
Yeah, maybe next time we can tell them about the mustard. Yeah, maybe next time. We'll, we'll cut the, see if this cuts the mustard. Amen, Stevie. All right, well, I'm going to grate a little bit of cheese on top. Cause that that makes it really good. This is some cheddar. If I had more feta, I would use it. And you see the egg doesn't like brim over. That's okay, cause it's gonna get fluffy in the oven. And we're gonna cook it at 375 for about an hour until it gets a little bit browned on top. Almost there. This is great because it's um it has a real intense texture with the nettles and the kale. Mmm. It is yummy. Yeah. And you know if it's not nettle season, you can just use loads and loads of kale and like Swiss chard. Maybe if you have frozen spinach or something to do that. But now's the time to get those nettles because they're so young and fresh. It's just the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the cheese. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper on the top. Sprinkle it on there. And a little pepper. red pepper but I'll skip it and then um, I'm gonna put a little olive oil on the crust Nice. just so it handles the oven well the neat thing about using a home ground flour is that it gives you this really rustic flavor and this this pie can carry that real well you get like a little crunch you can see it's already darkening yeah. It is a work of art. Yeah. Work of art. Work of nature. <laughs> Been out there in the nature picking those nettles. Yeah. And now it's ready to go in the oven. Ta-da! Yes! <laughs>